Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, the sink. This video is going to cover the sink and everything I had custom done. It was an entertaining journey, should we say. But I learned a lot and hopefully what I learned will help you if you decide to put a sink like this in your brew space or anywhere, pretty much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the sharing. First of all, I had this 70 inch by 30 inch or 72 inch by 30 inch stainless steel table and that or a sink like that picked out two years ago. And the prices really stayed about the same, kind of up and down about five, $10. Never really went up. Shipping was $170 when I initially looked at it from Georgia up in Atlanta area to North Florida, which is Jacksonville. And not a big deal. Well, I finally went to buy it and click and we'll pick that, pick the sink I want it. Went to check out, shipping was $400. So what they were doing is they just kept raising the shipping, raising the shipping. And yeah, $400 for a five hour trip from Georgia, I think I'll pass. Luckily I did pass. And I found this exact same stainless steel table for a hundred bucks less, free delivery, got that. Took forever, just all of a sudden popped up. I didn't know Amazon Basics made commercial equipment, but supposedly they do. And the sink, what I learned about the sink was I was only looking for one basin. So I'm thinking that's fine, two big shelves, I'm good, no big deal. It was cheaper to get a double basin, which actually uses more stainless steel. Someone said it's because they sell and produce more of the double and that's why the prices are a little bit better, which I kind of get, but you know, I still know it costs more to make if they're doing doubles, but I guess if you're just popping them out left and right, it might save in labor and time. I don't know. I'm okay. But <laughs> when I went to get the sink installed, I had a local plumber company, Turner Plumbing here in North Jacksonville. Definitely a shout out to Ben and Ryan who actually did the work and did a great job. But the first plumber showed up and went, that's a lot more than what we're looking to do. and. Uh, we need to call the master plumber. And I'm like, is this really that hard? The master plumber goes, it's gonna take two to three hours, took two and a half. He's like, but we can definitely do it. And they were out the very next day and got it knocked out. So I was very impressed. Big shout out to uh, Ben and Ryan. Appreciate y'all, thank you very much. But what did I have installed? And I'll go over each item individually, but I had a dual sink with dual drain, of course. I have hot water, cold water coming in. I have a blasting piece for cleaning or whatever you want to call the sprayer. I got the little nozzle on the top, which I hooked a piece on so I can snap a hose on there, garden hose. I have an RO system or the deionizer. And I also have a cool little sensor that tells me my parts per million in mineral content before and after the filtering. And that thing's amazing. And that was like $27. And yes, as usual, I'll put links down below on anything, but yeah, amazing. Just that little, $27 part just really was amazing. I got a glass cleaner for blasting the glasses, helping to clean those. And of course, I've got the little RO spigot over here on the side. Um, yeah, they just, they did an amazing job. Let me jump in and show you all the details on this thing. So here's the RO system. And as you will notice, I used one of those little hooks, drilled a hole on one of those. And those are the wrenches to disassemble things, to add filters, change filters out. That is one of the most popular RO systems on Amazon. And the deionizer, a lot of people buy that for aquariums so they can take all the minerals out or at least the majority of the minerals out of their water. Now let me show you that cool $27 part. This little gadget, I hit power. It tells me I have five parts per million of dissolved solids in the water after the deionizer. Before, I have 230 parts per million. Now it changes. It'll go up and down by a little bit. And when I'm using the water a lot, for some reason, the parts per million coming out will get down to like one, two, and three parts per million. Nothing I'm gonna worry about. And this will bounce out usually around 230, 235. It usually doesn't change too much. But yeah, just really cool little gadget. On top of that, it's gonna tell me when it's time to replace at least the deionizer filter because my parts per million will start going up quickly. And yeah, I have to get a new one. But that was a great invention. I don't know who decided to help strip minerals out at a home level, but I love that thing for the main reason. I don't have to go to the grocery store. I don't have to go to Walmart. I don't have to go anywhere to get my water anymore, unless I'm trying to get spring water, of course. You know, maybe I'll eventually bypass the deionizer if I just want some regular soft water 
for something like that. But right now, I'm set. The only negative is I have a reservoir, so it holds a couple gallons worth of water. This thing produces about 50 gallons per day. That's 24 hours. So that's about two gallons every hour. Yeah, you probably see where I'm going. <laughs> so you can either get a, a bigger holding tank or you can do what I do and you can just start filling bottles and fermenters and things like that with your water before your brew day. And I usually can get about four to five gallons out of it very quickly until it slows down. And then I'll come back, you know, maybe half hour, hour, two hours later and get some more until I've got enough water. Right now I'm sitting at about 24 gallons of deionized water, which is just perfect. I'm gonna show you behind me. I'm not sure if you can see all that, but I have shutoff valves for the water going to the RO system. I have a shutoff valve for the water going up to the glass cleaner. I have just multiple shutoff valves. That's of course the drain water from the RO system. And of course, normal shutoff valves for the actual sink itself. But just an amazing job again, like I said, that's Turner Plumbing. And that was Ben and Ryan and no, I'm not getting any kind of kickbacks on that. Just appreciated their work and they did a great job. So I was excited. Let's take a look at the glass cleaner. Okay, our little glass blaster does a great job when the glass is, needs to be cleaned and it's hot water, especially if you get going, you're gonna get nice hot water every single time. I also bought recently, but haven't tried beer clean. Supposedly this stuff's like the best stuff for making sure you don't end up with any kind of deposits on your actual glassware. So definitely gonna try that. Something basic for scrubbing the glasses beyond using a hand and a sponge. This is the spigot that gives you your RO slash deionized water. And then I also changed out the actual handle here with one that has a rubber piece on it. So if I get the water going for a while and it's really hot, I don't burn my hand if I have to move this. That was kind of cool. I've already changed the attachment on here so I can just plug a hose in, be good, no big deal. And if I want to clean something. So I will say when you buy a sink, it doesn't come with any of this. Of course this doesn't come with that, doesn't come with any of this. Most plumbing companies will not put these in unless you pre-drill the hole in your sink. I've got this little shelves on the side which all run down and allow the water to run back in. But yeah, just a great, great investment for brewing. I can put alkaline here, I can put acid wash over there, go from my PBW to my star sand. I mean, it's just gonna make life really easy, especially when I'm cleaning bottles, glasses, or any kind of brewing equipment. Really gonna make my life a lot easier. And my wife's probably gonna appreciate it because I'm not carrying everything into the house, into the kitchen to clean it, which drives her absolutely nuts for about 10 years now. And now <laughs> I won't need to do that anymore. So <laughs> that'll be a good thing. Hopefully that shed a lot of light on different bits and pieces that if you ever decided to put a commercial sink or a sink like this, some options you have, some things you can do. Um, that little $27 piece, like I said, is just, that was just an awesome suggestion by someone on Amazon. I grabbed it, put it in, and even the master plumber was like, how does that work? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he thought it was cool too. He hadn't seen one, I had never seen one, but just really, really cool. Thanks again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the sharing. Thank you and cheers.